JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, he too hot for a devil. Wanted man turns himself into cops. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. At least one of the 10 men were listed as wanted by the police in Portmore, St. Catherine, has turned himself in. Damien Henry, otherwise called Devil, from Burke Road in Old Arbor, handed himself over to the police yesterday. Henry, who frequents Darleston in Westmoreland and Portmore, was being sought for a murder that occurred in 2013. Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips, commanding officer for the St. Catherine South Police Division, said that Henry is being held pending charges. Police conducted several raids in an effort to find the wanted men. So intense were the operations that even other wanted men who were not on the list were captured. Others were brought in by relatives who saw how serious the cops were and the impact they were having. SSP Phillips encouraged other wanted men to follow Henry's example. He said the police would be coming full force for them. The list of wanted men was released by the Portmore Police two weeks ago. The men are wanted for several crimes committed in the division, including murder, shooting and illegal possession of firearms. Dancehall artist Ritical freed in gun court. Dancehall artist Ritical has been freed of gun charges. Ritical, whose real name is Ryan McFarlane, had been charged with illegal possession of a firearm and ammunition. He was freed in the gun court in Kingston after the judge upheld submissions by attorney Abel Dunfoot that there were discrepancies in the prosecution's case. McFarlane had testified in his defense that he was not in possession of the firearm or ammunition. He also said the vehicle he was driving was a rental and that other persons had access to it. It was alleged on January 28 last year. The police were patrolling 8 miles, Bull Bay, St. Andrew, when McFarlane was seen acting in a suspicious manner. The police searched his car and found the firearm with ammunition. He was arrested and charged. Counseling sessions for a family of mother and father killed by son. Senior Superintendent Christopher Phillips, commanding officer of the St. Catherine South Police Division, said the police have engaged a pastor to administer counseling assistance to the Ramsey family after a tragic murder claimed the patriarch and matriarch in Christian Meadows in Portmore, St. Catherine. We have engaged a pastor to offer counseling sessions for the family. This kind of behavior is outside the norm. The family said the son, the suspect, showed signs of mental illness and they brought him to the hospital for treatment and he was on medication, Philip stated. The son, a 25-year-old assistant teacher on break from G.C. Foster, was a well-regarded member of the community. Listen to the community. He was a brilliant young man and a caring chap in terms of how he treats his pet animals. So this is a shocker for the community, he said. The victims are Cecil Ramsey, a minister of religion, and his wife Phyllis, a school vice principal. They reportedly had several children, most of whom still reside in the island. The suspect is allegedly the youngest sibling. The young man was reportedly on his way to see his older brother in Phoenix Village when he crashed on the Dumbler Holden Road, Phillips said. Reports are that at about 4 a.m. on Friday, residents found a motor vehicle belonging to one of the Ramses abandoned on the side of the road. Bloodstains were reportedly found in the motor vehicle. The police were summoned and they reportedly went to the house of the couple where their bodies were found with several stab wounds. Mental illness is an emerging trend in our society. Some advising families to pay attention to early detection signs to help family members to get control of these situations before they end in tragedy, Philip said. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.